Hello, everybody. This is Moses from Wilona's Cave. Hello. And that's my son, Shant, saying hello. Uh, we are going to just play through a little bit. Uh, I'll edit a lot of this video, but we're going to go through the fishing rules we created for Dragon Bane RPG system right here. Um, I am Papa Smurf. I'm a gnome. I also will put in, if I can remember all these rules, I created a gnome kin with the background and spells and magic tricks, etc., and heroic abilities uh, for a gnome. And we are in our gnome village. I'll link up an old video right now when we are in the gnome village, just walking around. But now we are going to try. Uh, my son knocked over everything by accident. We're going to try. That one too, Shot. Or well, they're all falling asleep, these scarecrows. Uh, we're gonna try to uh, test out the rules. We tested out already a little bit and we changed stuff. So we're actually version 1.1 right now. Uh, we added a few things and changed a few things. I'll add the rules in the description or comment or both. Uh, and we're, we're thinking about gold panning too, like going to a river. And I'll make some rules that we could gold pan, like collect gold during the day and try to make money that way. Um, and so anyway, so this right here, new things, this is a Christmas ornament. These two, this is a hunting lodge and a fishing shack, Christmas ornaments. I just bought, I cut off the, um, you know, the loops, the, the, the hemp rope loop or string loop that goes onto your tree. And we just use it for our uh, thing. So I have a different placemat also when we get into the fishing shack. There's going to be a different map or a different top view, um, um, you know, artwork basically uh, when we get into there. So let's try. So here's a boat. This is a boat's not included, so you can move it. You have to rent the boat. So I don't know if we can, you can afford the boat right now. One shift rental for the boat is two silver shunt, but you gain four item inventory slots, increasing the encumbrance of the boat but because of the boat. All right, let's, let's just try it. I, I don't know what else to explain. <laughs> here, uh, let's see. So it's using your fishing. So this is my son is an elf. We'll put him over oh, here. Fishing, hunting and fishing. Cool. Hunting and fishing. Uh, so, hold on. Um, hold on, hold on. So the, the reason why I did this is because the hunting and fishing, in my opinion, is really lacking. Um, so there's baits, there's food, a fish soup you could purchase. So, you know, you, know, you could eat while you're here. The rental, boat rental, a fishing net, that's in the core rule book, so follow the same rules. And then a random table for fish and a random size as well. And it all depends what happens. And we decided version 1.1 to add seven, uh, a D8 instead of a D6. Seven is treasure, so we'll pull from the treasure cards that come with the book. And eight is the automatic rusty nail, so you automatically lose. And you're like, oh, big deal. Well. Not if you, you threw in a chicken liver chunk and you lost one silver for it, or beef heart chunk. Nightcrawler and worm. Um, uh, let's say we have some bait already, Sean. Let's say we have um, a worm. A few worms. So needed to at least catch fish. Can also be found in the wild, successive, successful bush cra uh, craft skill. You want to dig in the ground to see if you can find a worm? Well... That's... Dig, dig in the... What's your bush craft skill? Bush craft? Um, it's uh, up in the top. Should be right here. Bushcraft. You have a six. All right, I have a ten. Let me let me try. Do I have a ten? Yes. Let me let me try mine. Let me see, Sean. Let me see it. You need a D twenty. D twenty. Yes. Let's see if I can get it. Let's see if I did. I don't think that's a D twenty. Yes, it is. No. Yes, it is. Eight. Huh. I did not find a worm. So nope. we don't. Oh yeah, that's right. I keep forgetting. It's a unroll under. Okay, so I found it. Okay, you got a worm. I need a pencil. You need. I have a pencil right here, Sean. Oh. Okay, you have a worm. I got one. I forgot it's a deep, uh, roll under system. T. It's a tiny. Okay, so you're gonna put your. God, the gnomes are falling over. Say, oh wait, how much did you find? I found, nah, just one, that's all it is. I don't wanna roll, I, I, maybe I'll add that. Let me see, uh, where's that roll? Oh, uh, roll D2. I'll put a D2 for version 1.1. Uh, so you roll a D2 to find, but I found one. Okay, now let's fish. 
So I found one. I'm not gonna You don't need to roll it. Don't don't write it. It's okay. Because you're gonna use the fish right now. And it's a one time use. You can't recast. They are single use baits. You cannot yeah. recast. So it's a D twenty doing using what? D twenty um using what? Twelve. Uh, uh what is it called? Um, hunting and fishing. Hunting and fishing, that's right. So 12. Yeah, so uh, 12 or under, 17. Actually, it hit no, the it, Yeah, you roll again, that was uh, that was crooked. Nine. Nine, you got it. Okay, now let's see. So he just caught a fish. Let's go to, and he used a worm. We saved a copper because we dug in the ground. Um, but you're like, well, why not? Uh, that's my daughter in the background, sorry. Hey, it's real life, everybody watching. It's real life, this is how it is. You can keep digging in the ground and keep finding stuff, but you know, I may put negative effects to that, where if you keep find, uh, after three unsuccessful uh, skill checks for bushcraft to find a worm, maybe you find a, a problem, a snake or something, and I have to deal with that. And also, it's a lot better to just go to the shop and purchase a whole bunch of worms at once. Maybe I'll make a bulk price. Maybe, I mean, it would make sense if you put 10... One silver for ten worms. Yeah, something like that. Maybe I don't know. Look at ten copper invisible. So okay, so let's uh, so roll a d uh, roll a d eight, Sean. Yeah. Oh yeah. A d eight. D eight. Found it. Okay, now let's see what fish you get. Seven. Seven. You treasure. So this idea came because of Stardew Valley. Um, Stardew Valley. You know, if you if you ever played it, he could pull up a boot, or he could pull up not something, not fish. You know, so that, that's where this came from. Okay, so here's the treasure deck. So pull a card shot. Let's see what you get. Let's see what you pulled up. Copper coins. 2d6, 10 copper coins. I don't know what that means. So 2d6, you roll 2d6 and you multiply it by 10. Mm. 2d6. 3 and 3, 6. 6 times 10. 60 copper. 60 copper. So that means Just, I get another gold. So in real life, you could just sit at this pond or lake and just keep casting. That you could do that in real life. But to make it more interesting, I'm thinking about adding another table. Like after every fifth cast, you have to roll on a random encounter table where like one and two was like nothing happened, but three, four, five, and six, something happens on a D6 roll. I don't know. Maybe I'll add that and I'll say optional. So my son just adding, changing the, the numbers on... I hope you did the numbers right. So or, 60 plus the 7, so you take 30, that would equal the 10. That's a, that's a good find in the bottom. Uh, somebody somebody had a sack of copper coins and threw it in the bottom. You found the, so people were making wishes. You took their wishes away from them. <laughs> that's what happened. All right. Uh, I don't know what else. I mean, there's nothing else we got to show. Oh, uh, okay. Well, we'll, next scene, we're going to go into the fishing shack and see if we can buy some stuff. So now we are in the tackle shop, basically, the fish shack, which I named, well, I didn't name it at all, but the, the owner, one of the owner is called Dimble, the gnome fisherman, shop owner in the gnome village. He has a max daily on-hand coinage of two gold. So we'll just say that's Dimble. I don't know who this is. So this is gonna be who buys the fish, and this is gonna be who sells bait and fishing rods. Ooh, that would be interesting, fishing rods. Let me write that down. So it'd be pretty cool if fishing rods, like more expensive ones, maybe give you a boon, etc. Like this, like, um, let's see, a night crawler, cost three copper, gain a boon on hunting and fishing check, beef heart chunks, gain a boon on a random size table, chicken liver chunks, gain a boon on a random fish table. So let's say that Shant got a small mouth bass, the average size fish for this is three silver. Then he would have to roll on the random size table, and let's say he rolled a four, it's a large. The fish price, which is three silver, plus one silver, or it's D6 food rations. You see how as we get, we get bigger and bigger, the food rations get more. Uh, fish price plus four, you know, etc. Look, small fish is a minus one, D2. Tiny fish is not sellable, but it's one food ration. Stuff like that. Why does it keep falling over? Okay, so what do you want to buy? And then look, the, the fish sack was on the um, on the pond, so I, so I put in the prompt to add some water into the fish shop. I got to get a gnome for me. Well, you want a fishing net? I didn't put a price for that. I don't know what it is, actually. 
I'll oh. put a price on that. Well, the fishing net could be put into, you could rent it. Maybe I could rent, rent. And you could just throw it into the boat. Or buy. Or buy, but it'll take, it'll take a slot. I wanna buy a night crawler. All right, a night crawler it is. So just one night crawler, you can buy more if you want. We'll work on bulk sales. Maybe I'll just do that, bulk, bulk, Ten. bulk price. I don't know, we'll, we'll figure all that out. But anyway, so that's pretty much it. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. We're still working on it. Uh, and we're gonna be still working on the hunting and gold panning as well. So happy gaming, everybody. Bye. Bye.